Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Board. We got some news here because the Silver and Black have added a defensive lineman, and we'll get into him in just a minute. But today's show is presented by Kunzuri, and if you want some height-boosting shoes, go to Kunzuri.com slash chat for 15% off. Use code chat. It's going to be available for you guys in the comments and in the description of today's show. So the news alert that broke earlier today, the Raiders are adding defensive lineman David Abuka Ogoa via the NFL International Pathway Program. For those that don't know what the Pathway Program is, we will go into a little bit more depth of how exactly it impacts the Raiders, how many players have been added through the International Pathway Program, and everything that you need to know about Abuka Goa. So what I want you to do right now is this. Let's show them how Raider Nation gets down. Can I get 1,000 Raider Nation for lifes in the comment section? If you're a real one, if you bleed silver and black, I imagine this. He's going to come across this video. I, I know this, if I was a player through the International Pathway Program and I found a show about me on YouTube, I'm clicking that piece. So let's show them how Raider Nation gets down. Spam R and 4L down in the comments. The Las Vegas Raiders put this out on May the 4th be with you. I will admit, it was kind of weird. The Raiders tweeted this out and then they ended up taking the tweet down about an hour later. They have now again put out a, another tweet and there is an article around David Abuka Agoa on the Raiders official website page which we'll break down here. If you don't know too much about him, it's understandable. He's built like a defensive lineman. There's no doubt about that. He's six foot five. 245 pounds, and he's only 21 years old. I am a sucker because, and I say that only in the eyes of fantasy football, if I saw a tight end, giggity, and they played at one point or another college basketball, some sort of basketball, I'm like, all right, this is a guy that I got to keep my eyes on. Before the Raiders and before the Pathway program, he was a Nigerian premier basketball league. So he played ball. Dude knows ball. Who knows? He might even tune in to tonight's Warriors-Lakers watch party here on the Raiders Report. And if you want to join Jeremy Chuggs and I tonight for a wild time, you can do that. But also stay up to date on the latest news and rumors going on around the Las Vegas Raiders. Essentially, if you're looking for anything around the Raiders, I bet you can find it on this channel. Subscribe. We got to keep you updated. So here is the brand new look at the Raiders' official defensive and depth chart. You got your top two dogs there. Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, the rookie, and Tyree Wilson. Then the Raiders went out. They signed UDFA Tarless. You also have Malcolm Kuntz, who not exactly is a Raiders guy. You signed Willis in the offseason. You also were able to add Martin, and now Abuka Agoa gets added to this Raiders defensive line group. And I know that there are some of you out there probably like, all right, Mitch, well, they had 90 players. Now they're at 91. What exactly does that mean? Well, when you have a pathway player, you can actually keep the 91 out of the 90 on your roster. It's why the Raiders ended up. It's why the NFL really tried to make this pathway program what it is. So what I want to know right now is give me a number. What's your confidence level in the Raiders defensive line room? Scale it from 1 to 10. No disrespect, there's not a lot of tape out there on uh, on David. So I have yet to really be able to take a deep dive in what he's good at, his strengths, his weaknesses. So I will continue to go with my original answer that it was after the 2023 NFL Draft. My confidence in the Raiders defensive line, and I guess I should really put this as edge rushers slash DTs, I'm going to go with a six. And if you take out Crosby, it's probably a four. Can Tyree Wilson take that next step? If Chandler Jones could take that next step, it's great. But you know what? If you're trying to take that next step, maybe it's in a pair of Kanzuri shoes, and I want you to get your, I was going to say hands on, but let's get your feet in some of these bad boys. You can get 15% off with promo code chat. Huge shout out to Kanzuri for sponsoring today's Raiders report. Fellas, are you tired of feeling insecure about your height? Kanzuri makes shoes that can add up to 2.8 inches to your height discreetly. Women get heels. Chugs gets makeup and push-up bras. Why can't men get a confidence boost too? We're all the same height laying down anyway, if you know what I mean. Kanzuri shoes are not only height boosting, but also stylish and comfortable. They're not grandpa's Velcro shoes, but fashionable shoes that can receive compliments 
even without the height increase. The height insoles are integrated into the shoes, making it the ultimate height hack. For a limited time, Kinzuri is offering our viewers an exclusive discount of 15% on top of their 30% site-wide discount. Use code chat at Kinzuri.com to get your 45% off. Don't wait any longer. Upgrade your shoe game and confidence now at C-O-N-Z-U-R-I.com slash chat. When I want to get high, I do it with a pair of Kanzuris. Remember, y'all, the link's going to be available for you guys. Not only is it on screen, it's also in the comments. It's in the description of today's show. I have a pair of these shoes. They look really awesome, and it's kind of funny because Alex is already short. She's a shorty. I'm 5'10". So when I put these things on, I'm over six foot. She kind of likes it, and I, I kind of like being six foot for the one time in my life. Though, if you looked at my baseball profile in college, I listed myself at six foot. Hey, if I can get an extra two and a two point eight inches, I'm gonna take it. Which probably seems like David at six foot five, two forty five, he might not need Kinsuri shoes. But then again. Who knows? All right, let's continue to look at what the Raiders' official website had to say here on Abuka Agoa. International Pathway was developed in 2017 as a way to provide elite international athletes the opportunity to earn a spot on an NFL roster. 37 international players have signed with NFL teams since the program began. Abuka Ogoa was previously associated with NFL Super Bowl champion O.C. Umanyora's Uprise Academy and caught attention at the NFL Africa camp in Ghana last year. Before transitioning over to football, Abuka Ogoa played basketball in Nigeria's premier basketball league for the invaders of I, Edo, I don't know how to pronounce it. The International Player Pathway Program also helped bring German native and current Raiders fullback Jacob Johnson to the NFL, Alvita Zine. The eight players in this year's edition of the program will stay with their teams until the end of training camp. At that point, players are eligible to make the active roster or be added as an extra practice squad member, with teams having the chance to elevate them throughout the season. So I wanted to put in some of that extra information here in case you were wondering, all right, what exactly is the International Pathway Program? Which, to me, that's exactly what Al Davis, what the Raiders stand for. Giving a player who might not have an opportunity a chance. And sometimes it does. It pays off. OCU Manure was an international player. Uh, you look at Jacob Johnson, the Raiders right now starting fullback, came through this program. Obviously, I don't know too much about how he's going to fit, what he's going to look like. But you know what? I'm happy that he gets a chance. So the fact that the Raiders brought him in, you got 91 out of 90 players right now. They can still go out and add other players, whether it's on the defense, whether it's the offense of NFL free agency. And if you're watching this video, we're actually going to be doing a live segment today around potential cornerbacks that the Silver and Black could add if you watch the show live. But how about this? Name a free agent that you want the Raiders to still go out and get. And if the Raiders add another free agent then you will have to move on from another player. But as it mentioned, it cannot be David Abuka Agoa for the simple fact that he will be there throughout the entirety of minicamp. So again, anytime Raiders news happens, I want to keep you guys up to date to make sure you never miss anything going on around the silver and black. You can always follow me on Twitter. You can always hit me up on Instagram as well. Abuka Hey, man, welcome to Raider Nation. If you want to join the Raiders Report at any point, hopefully you watch this video. Hopefully you slide in my DMs. The invite is absolutely out there. I want to show you how Raider Nation gets down.